Good morning, everyone. It's Lee Henson, president and founder of Agile Dad, and it's time for today's episode of The Daily Stand-Up. So without any further ado, let's get started. Today is a very special day. I was hoping to do an interview today, so we'll see what happens. If I do an interview, it'll be a special episode, and we'll add it to this one. Today is Veterans Day here in the United States, and I wanted to reach out to all the veterans out there and tell you how much I appreciate your commitment to excellence and how much I appreciate the dedication and devotion that you make to help me be successful in the things that I do. And that's why we created the Agile Dad Challenge Coin for uh, helping understand and appreciate those, uh, you know, serving those who serve others. And of course, we have the five scrum values on the back with the American flag. And I just wanted to point out that we try hard to, anytime a veteran comes in and does something exceptional, we try hard to make sure that they have a reward for, you know, uh, a token of appreciation for what they do. It doesn't take long for us if we journey to the U.S. Department of Defense website, defense.gov, to navigate, and in this case, to the news section where there's a big article that was recently published that says, Defense Department seeks to achieve agile adaptive acquisition. Achieve agile adaptive acquisition. That's four A's, but (laughs) it doesn't surprise me. But one of the things that's so awesome, and this article is by C. Todd Lopez from DOD News, and he goes in to describe how the United States Department of Defense and the military is at a crossroads, where in the past, they've always sought to move with diligence at a pace that required heavy oversight and required Uh, heavy guidance and whatnot before they can make critical decisions, we're starting to see that technologies and things that are happening within the military are moving in a more agile way. So here's here's a quote. It says, the same technologies you investigate at IITSEC are the ones that will allow us to move to an agile and adaptive acquisition framework and be much more agile. So that was uh, given in a National Defense Industrial Association presentation. It's, it's interesting to me to see that when it comes to digital engineering, digitization, modular open system architecture, model composability, all these different things, Agile is starting to become the go-to. It's starting to become the way to do things. And I think that the military has discovered that the, what they we're doing in the past isn't necessarily always the best way to get things done. Uh, here's another quote. It says, we should be able to do a much better job in assessing to be fit for purpose by use of simulation and the performance of red versus blue systems and simulators to really understand how what we're going to buy in the Department of Defense will operate in the real world. In order to do this, business agility is the key to achieving that success. So In order to understand how the Department of Defense will operate going forward in a real world, Agile is a big part of that. And it has to do with more than just the contract part of it, right? Uh, When we're talking about reducing acquisition cycle times, reducing costs, uh, reducing uh, reducing costs and schedules for testing, uh, bringing about reduced costs for sustainment of systems, all of these things they're talking about have to do with agility and Agile and how it's happening. And the revolution has begun. The revolution has begun where they're talking about training and achieving training and how this training is going to take place and which groups they can contract with and how they can make things happen. Now, as being a proud supporter of the United States military and the Department of Defense, I personally salute all of you for the the immense sacrifice that you make to your families and to your loved ones so that you can support our ability to do the things that we do in this country that we love. With that being said, one of the big turning points right now that's happening in history is that there's been a push for all people that are working with any government agency to have received their COVID-19 vaccinations. Without being political, uh, I'm happy that we're taking strides towards Uh, eradicating COVID-19. I think think that's the best way to put it. I don't think there was any ill intent there, but I also feel like it's important for us to understand that there's a very, how should I put it, an agile way to go about doing this, 
and a less agile way to go about doing this. And I think that through my work with the Department of Defense, you know, I, I've done the full vaccination thing, and I'm very happy to assist in all the training and coaching and things that need to happen in order to keep our Department of Defense right where it is and to accelerate it moving forward so that they can have the world's best testing and training when it comes to business agility, when it comes to uh, being a good scrum master, a product owner, or learning how to apply these principles specifically in DOD environments. I've had several opportunities to work with groups from Hill Air Force Base, from sustainment to maintenance line to you name it, to help them. I've worked with the Air Force with weaponeering. I've had an opportunity to work on flight lines and understand how flight decks work. I've had an opportunity to train people who worked uh, you know, with ICBMs and were, uh, spent more time <laughs> or half their life underground, I guess is the best way to put it, right? But I think it's important. And I've also worked with people who have done you know, the, the Space Force. So I guess what I'm trying to say is the principles of Agile are important for us to understand so that we can continue to have the civil liberties and freedoms that we do. Many people don't tie that together. But the truth is some of the finest men and women on earth have taken an oath to help us be able to do the things that we do every single day. And by darn it, we can't take that for granted. And it's my mission and my company's mission at Agile Dad to uplift those men and women in their uh, professional lives in the military. And then as they transition out of the military into the, into the business world to help them get a hand up on the competition and to help them have you know, all the tools they need to be successful. Because the truth is a lot of that experience that you have in the Department of Defense and in the military transfers over to the private sector very well. And it's not just in some of the defense contracting companies. There are lots of companies who are looking for people who really understand true business agility. And some of the best candidates we've ever found have been members of the armed forces. So I just want to say thank you for all that you do. And on this day where we remember veterans, I want to also personally thank my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather for following in that military thread and for making the sacrifices that were necessary in order for us to have the things that we have today. God bless all of you. God bless the military and, and their families in the United States of America. I'm confident that we can together really get agility working the way that it should and the way that it's intended to within the Department of Defense so that we can continue to accelerate and grow and do the things that we need to do so that we can continue to live the happy lives that we live with our friends and family. So all of you out there, we salute you. Thanks for being part of the Agile Dad family and thanks for being part of the Department of Defense family. Until next time, stay healthy, stay well, and stay agile, my friends. Do take care.